In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create eye-catching t-shirt designs for Valentine's Day using Canva. With Canva, we can access thousands of customizable Valentine's Day templates that we can use to jumpstart our designs. Whether you want to create something romantic and loving or playful and humorous, you'll find the perfect template for your design on Canva. We'll go over how to access the Valentine's Day templates, how to use the various Canva tools and features to create your custom design, and even how to order your printed t-shirt directly from Canva. So let's head over to Canva and go over how to design t-shirts for Valentine's Day. But before we get started, if you haven't joined Canva yet, make sure you click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial. With Canva Pro, you can access tons of premium tools and features, such as the background remover, thousands of professionally crafted design templates, access to all of the images and graphics in the Canva library, and tons of other tools to help you create amazing designs. To try Canva Pro for free, head over to learnwithjason.com or simply click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial. So from the Canva homepage, the first thing we want to do is access the Valentine's Day templates. To do this, let's go up to the search bar at the top. In the text field, let's type in Valentine's Day t-shirt. From the results drop down menu here, you should see a tab that says Valentine's Day t-shirt with the little t-shirt icon beside it. Go ahead and click this now. This will take you to a page where you can view all the Valentine's Day t-shirt design templates that are available on Canva. As you can see, they currently have over 400 templates. So let's scroll down the page here and check out the templates. All of the templates on Canva are professionally crafted and fully customizable. And with so many templates available, you'll definitely find the design style that you're looking for. So feel free to browse the Valentine's Day templates as much as you like. But for this example, I think I'll just go with this template here. When you select a template, it'll open up a window where you can view the template details and even view the template on various t-shirt mockups. So to open up the template in the Canva editor, go ahead and click the customize this template button. This will take us over to the Canva editor where we can customize the template. Let's use the slider at the bottom to zoom in a bit to get a better view. There we go. So let's go over how to personalize the template to create our custom Valentine's Day design. First, let's change the text by selecting it, then typing in whatever you want it to say. For my text, I'm going to have it say be mine. And with your text selected, you'll notice a toolbar appear at the top of the page here. This is what you can use to change your fonts, your text colors, add formatting, add effects, and more. So to change the font of my text, let's go up to the top toolbar and click the font tab here. This will open up a menu where we can view all the various fonts that are available on Canva. There are thousands of fonts to choose from, so let's check out some font suggestions for Valentine's Day. The font you use will depend on the style of design that you're creating. Whether you want something bold and exciting or sweet and elegant, you'll find what you need on Canva. For Valentine's Day, you'll typically want to choose fonts that convey love, romance, and affection. These are some of the fonts that I like, so feel free to pause the video and check them out. So if we scroll through the list here, we can see all the fonts that are available on Canva. If you select a font, you'll see your text update on your template. You want to try out different fonts to see which one best matches the style of your design. And if you already know which font you want to use, simply go up to the top text field here and type in the font name. I'm going to use a font called Sweet Dreams. I can now go down to the results here and select my font. And the font for my template text has been updated. I like the Sweet Dreams text for Valentine's Day because the dots for the eyes are actually hearts. So now that I've changed my text and updated the font, let's drag the corners to resize it and click and drag the text to rearrange it. You want to try out some different sizes and arrangements to see what looks best. I think this looks pretty good. So now let's move on to my graphic. The first thing I'm going to do is delete this default graphic. So let's select it, then click the delete icon. There we go. So for this example, I'm going to create my design using graphics from the Canva library. So to access the Canva elements library, let's click the elements tab from the menu on the left hand side. Here's where we can access all the shapes, graphics, photos, and other elements available on Canva. To find a graphic, simply go up to the search bar here and type in whatever you're looking for. For my Be Mine Valentine's Day design, let's see if we can find some graphics of some happy beats. In the results here, you'll see all the elements related to that keyword, but we only want to find the graphics. So let's click the see all tab in the graphics section here. This should pull up all the graphics on Canva related to the keyword happy bees. On Canva, you can find graphics for pretty much anything you like. No matter what you type in, you'll find tons of styles and graphic options. They have some free graphics available, but to access all the graphics, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. So for my design, I think I'm going to go with this Canva Pro graphic here. When you select a graphic, it should be added to your template. You can then resize and rearrange it as needed. 
There we go. If I wanted to keep things simple, similar to the template, I could just roll with this, but let's see if we can make this even better. After adding the main graphic for your design, feel free to search the elements library and add supporting graphics as well. For Valentine's Day, there are some common graphics that are typically used with designs. This includes things like hearts, cupids, flowers, chocolates, loving text, cute animals, and more. Adding any of these graphics should help you jumpstart your Valentine's Day design. With my bees here, I've already added some cute animals, so now I think I'll add some flowers and a large heart in the background. Feel free to add whatever elements you like and resize and rearrange them as needed. I think adding the supporting graphics makes my design look much better. Also, if you wanted to enhance your text, simply select it and use the toolbar up top to change the color or even add effects. If I click the color tab here, I can select whatever color I wish to use for my text. But since it's Valentine's, I'm going to stick with red. And if we click the effects tab here, we can select from several effects that we can add to our text. This includes things like a shadow, a lift effect, a hollow effect, the splice effect, an outline, a glitch, an echo, and several others. When you select an effect, you'll notice a menu appear underneath where you can adjust the effect settings. For my shadow here, I can change the color, adjust the offset, the direction, the blur, and the transparency. I think adding the shadow effect to my text helps it stand out a lot more. So feel free to add more graphics, text, or other elements to your design. And once you're finished, you can download it by going up to the share button at the top here. This will open up a menu with several share options. If you want to download your design, simply click the download icon here. This will take you to the menu where you can select your download settings. At the top, make sure you have PNG selected. This will allow you to adjust your size and download your design with transparency. If you plan to add your design to t-shirts or other products, you want to make sure to select the transparent background option here. This will download your design with a transparent background so it doesn't have a colored square behind it. So once you select your download settings, go ahead and click the download button at the bottom. And your new design will be downloaded to your device. Let's open mine up and check it out. And here's my Be Mine Valentine's t-shirt design. As you can see, both the text and the graphics are super high quality. I can now add my design to t-shirts or the products in my print on demand store. So we've gone over how to add graphics from the Canva library, but we can also generate custom graphics using AI. First, let's remove the graphic of the two bees here. There we go. So to access the Canva AI image generator, let's go over to the elements tab from the menu on the left hand side. If we scroll down the menu a bit, you should see a section that says AI image generator. At the top, go ahead and click the icon that says generate your own. And this will take you to Canva's Magic Media AI Image Generator. Here's where we can use AI to generate pretty much any graphic that we want. To generate graphics, let's click the Graphics tab at the top. So to generate a graphic for your design, simply describe the graphic that you want using the text field here. When describing your graphic, try to be as detailed as possible using five words or more. For my design, I'm going to ask the AI to generate a graphic of two happy bumblebees that are in love together. Once you describe the graphic that you want, you can then click the Styles button underneath to select the style for your graphic. This will open up a menu with tons of different styles you can select from, whether you want something simple, artistic, or detailed. For my graphic, I'm going to go with the simple sticker style. So once you describe the graphic that you want and select the style, go down to the bottom and click the Generate Graphics button. The AI will then analyze your text, and after a few moments, it'll provide you with several AI-generated graphics that you can select from. So here are some graphics of my two bumblebees that are in love. All of these are pretty cool, but I think I like the one at the top right the best. Once you select a graphic, it'll be added to your template. And just like any other graphic, feel free to rearrange it and resize it as needed. Also, if you wanted to move an element in front of or behind another element, simply select it, then go to the position tab at the top toolbar. Using the menu on the left, you can move your element towards the front or the back of your template. Now my flower here is in front of my bee. So we went over how to download our designs earlier, but this time, let's go over how to order our printed t-shirts directly from Canva. If you're editing a t-shirt design template, you should see the print with Canva button at the top here. Go ahead and click that now. This will open up a menu where you can view your design on several t-shirt mockups and where you can place an order for your t-shirts directly on Canva. To adjust your mockups, you can scroll down and select your fit type and your shirt color. Let's change the model to a woman and select a black shirt. And when I scroll back up, my mockups should be updated. So let's enlarge the mockups and check them out. So here's how my design should look on t-shirts. 
There are several mockups available, so feel free to scroll through and check them all out. Mockups are great for getting a closer look at your design and seeing if you need to make any changes. But if everything looks good, go ahead and close the mockups window and use the menu on the right hand side to complete your order. Go ahead and select your shirt color, your size, and how many you want to order. The prices are actually very reasonable and you have free delivery. So go ahead and continue with the checkout process and complete your order. Once your order is placed, Canva will print your t-shirt and have it delivered directly to your doorstep. The t-shirts have good quality printing and the delivery is super fast. So that's a quick overview of how to use Canva to create t-shirt designs for Valentine's Day. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.